What's up guys and welcome back to Epic Journey Through the Bible. I don't know if you guys can see that butterfly right there. I'm here at Airfield Falls in Fort Worth, Texas. We're looking at Matthew chapter 18 today and the worship thought today is titled, Don't Troll God's Kids. Now what does this mean? Jesus is talking about what happens when a person causes a little one, little one, a child, young person, to stumble, to sin. He's talking about when somebody leads, deliberately leads a young person into sin. Now, I love the comparison of God as our heavenly father, or the analogy of God as our heavenly father, because that's really what he is, and he has a true father's heart. He hates it when people mess with his kids. And he, like any good father, is not gonna stand idly by and watch bad stuff happen to his kids. So if somebody steps in and tries to do something bad to harm God's kids, watch out. They're gonna get it. We see an example of this with Lucifer. See, Satan can't hurt God right now, but what he can do is he can hurt God's kids and he knows that any loving parent, the best way to hurt that parent is to hurt their kids. That's why people kidnap people's kids and stuff like that and try and try to hurt the, they're trying to hurt the parents or to get money from the parents. In this case, Satan is attacking us on a regular basis, trying to hurt God, trying to crush God. When he had the chance, he killed God, God the Son, right? So if he had the chance to kill God, he would kill God again and again. But now he no longer has that chance. So now he's hurting God's children instead. What is gonna be his end result? The book of Revelation chapter 20 tells us that Satan and his angels will be thrown into the everlasting fire and that they will burn up and be consumed, the Bible says. Destroyed, turned to ashes. That's what God does to people who mess with his kids. And Jesus says this amazing, super vivid, graphic imagery. He says it would be better if a millstone was tied around that person's neck and have them thrown into the sea than to have them cause a young person to sin. Did you know Jesus said that? Did you know that? He's saying it's better if they were drowned alive. It's better if they were killed than to have them hurting and causing children to sin. So guys, we have to stand up for our young people. We've got to protect our young people. If you're a young person listening to this, God loves you. God cares about you. God doesn't want anything bad to happen to you. But sometimes bad stuff does happen to young people. How does God feel about it? This story should tell us exactly how God feels about it. He is angered by it to the point of wanting to give judgment and justice and killing the people who have done this to little children. If you're a young person watching this or an older person watching this and wrong things have been done to you, maybe those things were done when you were a child, you had inappropriate things happening to you, mean things happening to you, bullying, abuse, neglect. God cares about that. God hates that. And at the end of the day, justice will be served. God sees your tears, he sees your pain, he cares about the horrible times that you've gone through, and he has a plan to make it all right in the end. So guys, I want you to know how strongly Jesus feels about God's kids. He says it'd be better that for a person to have a stone tied around their neck and have them thrown in the sea than to have them mess with God's kids. Stand up for the young people. God bless you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Push that thumbs up button if you like it. Subscribe over here, watch another video over here. Peace, love, and the joy of the Lord.